Hi everyone. Last night I did a live stream during which I did a live debunk of Mitchell from Australia. Unfortunately YouTube was buffering so much, not just for me but for other live streams, that we had to abandon the stream. However, the actual live debunk recorded fine, so I've stripped it off into this standalone video. Don't forget, this debunk was done live. I'd only seen Mitch's video about three quarters of an hour before this debunk. So with research, I'm sure there's lots of other things that I could have picked up on. Mitchell from Australia and Sleeping Warrior. I hope you enjoy this. No more buffering? Oh, well, well let's see. Fingers crossed, I think it might be again. Who knows? Well, I hope it's gone away because I want to um, kick Mitch's ass. So because I'm going to capture this as a video afterwards, I'll start again very quickly. Mitchell from Australia has responded to Simon Dan. Um, they were talking about, um, oh gosh, I forgot what the original uh, video was. But as part of uh, Dan's response, um, he had included a photograph of star trails. And I think I've got, have I got buffering? Oh, I hope not. I'm going to ignore that for now. <coughs> it got star trails. So Mitch has done a response. And what I'm going to do is debunk Mitch's response to Simon Dan live and um, make him Mitch made. And as a bonus, Mr. Anthony Riley's got a bit part in it. So it would be rude not to give him a kicking as well while I'm in here. So let's see if I can pull that up. Uh, no, wrong one. One second. Wind cap. Just got to catch the right window. Uh, there we go. Yes. Right. Well, it's all happening tonight, isn't it? So let's go. We, what we're going to do is play Mitch's video. I'll keep pausing it and see if we can't um, make him a bit Mitch, Mitch made. Mitch, this is just for you. A live debunk of your crap. Here we go. Make sure I switch on the desktop audio. That's on. And Mitch, go ahead. Wow. I'm Mitchell from Australia, and this is the end of Lie Man Dan. Well, I beg to uh, disagree, Mitch. I think you might be uh, about to embarrass yourself, but do go on, dear boy. Now, we've all seen star trails, and this is claimed to be caused by Earth rotating. That'll be because it's caused by <clears throat> the Earth rotating, Mitch. Which I've already thoroughly debunked. Well, when you say thoroughly debunked it, you spouted out a load of word salad and totally failed. And of course, during our debate on Fight the Flat Earth, you couldn't explain why there were um, two points of stellar rotation in the night sky. Could you, Mitch? It's never going to get old reminding you of that, but carry on. Because when viewing stars in the inertial reference frame, they should not move. But Well, you're not in the inertial reference frame, but carry on. But rather than have a bit of humility and concede this is true, Lie Man Dan has now claimed we can see star rotation from the ISS. Which well, I'm glad you think that's funny, Mitch. And when I show you how wrong you are, I hope that you will have a bit of humility and admit you're wrong. He's now going to have to concede that that is a fraudulent claim because I'm about to show how fake this image is on so many different levels. Well, I'm so looking forward to this, Mitch. I really, really am. But firstly, we do not even need to go into this image to prove that anything from space is fake. Oh, God, go on then. The Globe's goal here is to give us a red herring to argue if star trails are even possible from the ISS because anything from space is a second law of thermodynamics violation. We know why you're saying that, Mitch. You're saying that because you're parroting the crap that Sleeping Warrior and Nathan Oakley give. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what else to say. You're just wrong. Um, there's no difference uh, between um, the, the, the 
where you have the difference between the atmospheric pressure at sea level to the top of Everest, there's no barrier in between. It, as we all know, you've got a, uh, a pressure gradient going down, 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 down. At no point do you have a barrier between one pressure and another because it's a smooth gradient right down to 10 to the neg negative 17 tor. But this is getting off track a bit, Mitch. Violating a natural law is not possible. Space is claimed to be a vacuum, and the air we breathe here on Earth would absolutely increase in entropy and fill the available space. So we already know that this image is faked. Well, I think the available space is between your ears, but carry on. But the vast majority of people are not yet at this understanding, because most people still believe they are firmly on a rotating globe. Well, wonderful, Mitch. I'm glad you acknowledge that most people do understand reality that we're on a globe. That's a nice one. Flying through space. And that is who Simon Dan is targeting with this fraudulent image. So I'm going to break it right down for those people. The ISS is claimed to be falling around the Earth. This is not controlled flight or trajectory. It's definitely not in lockstep with the claimed rotation of the Earth. Well, you've actually said one thing that's correct. Yes, the ISS is orbiting around the Earth and it's not in lockstep. To be in lockstep, it would have to be geostationary and 22,000 miles up. So well done, Mitch. You've got something, right? Flight Globers say that planes, balloons and drones are. There is no doubt that the ISS is not in the rotating reference frame of the Earth. It is in the inertial reference frame. Globers claim that star rotation is due to Earth rotation. Yes, we're stood on the Earth and as the Earth rotates, the sky apparently rotates around us. With time-lapse photography, it leaves star trails circling around the uh, roughly around Polaris and quite quite close to Sigma Octanis in the south. But the ISS is not in the rotating reference frame, so the ISS should never ever see any stars moving. Uh -uh. Wrong boy. <laughs> now, if if the ISS was just <sighs> hovering in position. No, it wouldn't see the stars move. But it's not, is it, Mitch? We're going to show you. It's in the inertial reference frame, remember? So seeing any star trails from the ISS is absolutely impossible. Right. Oh, look, it's Sleeping Warrior. And he must have been having a good night. He's got a live stream there with um, 12 people watching. Well done, Sleepy. And by the way, I did comment on Mitch's video and... Uh, Anthony Riley decided to comment back. I did point out that I was going to do a live debunk of um, uh, Mitch's video during this live stream and um, that there would be a little uh, cameo for Sleepy. I hope you feel the burn in a minute, Sleepy. I really do. Go on then. What have you got for us? A sleeping warrior? Simon Dan, you cannot have circumpolar star trails from the ISS when they're in the inertial frame of reference. That's the thing that proves the Earth is turning. Because when you're turning on the Earth, we're told that the Earth is turning. That gives us circumpolar star trails. Yes, it does, Tony. You've been listening to Mitch, haven't you? When you get off the Earth, even just by a few centimetres, that's supposed to stop. A few centimetres? What are you talking about? Are you saying if you jump off the gra ground or in an aeroplane, you're still rotating with the earth tony that's not the iss so when you're in the international space station you're going to be orbiting the earth you're going to get linear velocity but you're not going to get circumpolar star trails you're going to get linear you you, <laughs> you do realize the shape of the orbit don't you you do realize that don't you tony hmm explain that matey these points alone debunk this image i don't think they do mitch and i'm going to show you in a minute but carry on but to go any further we need to beg the question that there is a globe and the iss is traveling around it at seventeen thousand miles per hour we don't forget you said that mitch seventeen thousand miles per hour that's quite important we'll come back to that in a minute which is one orbit every 90 minutes but by judging by the length of the star trails it would have taken over an hour to get this footage. Well, <laughs> that didn't take long, did it? 
When we take these um, time-lapse images of star trails, so you get an image of the stars looking roughly like that, you're correct, that will be over several hours. But what speed is the space station going? 17,000 miles an hour. Who said that the, this image is circumpolar? Who says that that up there is uh, the North Pole star? It's just the point of rotation in the, in the sky, if you like, in the, in, the, in the heavens above, of the orbit that the ISS is taking. It's nothing to do with the Pole Star or Sigma Octanis. The space station is orbiting around the Earth. If it has a camera pointed at one point that's um, above the centre of its orbit, you're going to get circular star trails. Now, you said you wouldn't get tra trails that long. You just admitted, quite rightly, that the space station orbits in 90 minutes. So in half of that, 45 minutes, any star trail would go halfway around. Now, none of those trails are going anything like that. I don't know. It looks like those trails may be, let's say, 10% of an orbit which means nine minutes, not several hours. You've forgotten the speed the space station is moving. You're complete and utter drongo. By which time the ISS should have completed almost a full orbit of the globe. There is no way those stars are still going to be in the frame of the camera by the time the ISS gets all the way around the other side of the globe. Yeah, it hasn't gone all the way around the other side of the globe. In just a few minutes, it will have gone a fair portion around the globe. So nine minutes, we've gone 10% of the way round. So those stars would have made 10% of a circle around the rotation point. Is it burning yet, Mitch? Is it? After the live stream, I found out that most excellent creator, Where's Wally, had sent me this image. He'd taken a screen cap and calculated those star trails at about 22 degrees long. And with an orbit of 90 minutes, that means that those stacked images are taken over a period of just 5.5 minutes. So Mitch, I had guesstimated at 10%, about nine minutes. It's actually twice as bad for you as even I thought. Thanks for that, Wally. And everyone, make sure you check out Wally's channel. So let's go back to the action. But what else can we see in this image? Well, let's look at the ground. There are some very clear, distinct lights. Whether they're cities or lightning, they are... They're lightning, Mitch. Those long trails are lights from cities. The reason they look like dots rather than a smooth um, trail is because this is st a stacked image. So if it's taking an image, I don't know, let's say every 15 seconds, the light will have moved on a bit, which is why you've got a row of dots rather than a smooth um, uh, line of light. How long does a lightning flash take? It's caught a lightning flash. That was, is then static. It stays in a stacked image. When the next image is taken, a few seconds later, there is no additional lightning flash. It's gone. So you have one flash. Hmm. They are still motionless, but right next to them and running through them, there are light trails from the ground. Remembering that this footage had to be taken for over an hour, covering the majority of the globe's surface, it's not possible to have those stationary lights there. It's a stacked image. It's not video. As I said, you, you take an image, you capture a, a, a lightning flash, you take another image, that lightning flash has got, if it was one lightning flash, we would have one stationary light. Where you've got a city, the city would appear every few seconds, making one of those dotted lines. You failed, Mitch. Right next to light trails. So does anyone still believe that this image is real? Oh, oh, I do, I do. Well, the lies don't stop there from Simon Dan. Because look down the left-hand corner, there's even plane trails. Who said that those are plane trails? They could be one of a couple of things. They could be meteors. They could be other satellites. 
I don't know which they are, but there's nothing to say there was pl- they were planes. And if if they were going to be planes, there'd be an awful lot of them, wouldn't there, Mitch? But they're not planes. Yes, plane trails from 250 miles up. So regardless if the globe is real or not, this image is 100% fate. It is... Oh, is it, Mitch? I'm so going to bust your ass. Fraudulent from Man Dan. He's blatantly lying to everyone. Well, you've just acu- accused Dan of being a liar, Mitch. So I hope when it's proven that you're incorrect, you at least have the decency to apologise to Dan and admit you're wrong. Although I won't hold my breath. And deceiving you all on every level possible. Either you can see this, Man Dan, and admit it is a fake image, or just double down on it like all your other globe proof that we've been debunking since you've been making videos. Wow. Well, that was um, quite interesting, Mitch. I think we need to show you how wrong you are. So I've got another video. Have a look at this, Mitch. This is taken from the ISS Expedition 46. It's stacked, of, uh, it's stacked, stacked imagery of over 5,000 images taken by the astronauts. Now, I pause that there. If this was driving along a road, then as you, if you were taking lots of photos and stacking them, you would get lines from street lights. You get lines from the lights and houses and so on. So that one's easy to understand if you're driving straight, straight towards um, the centre or, stra- or straight away and looking at the back. You can see lightning flashes. They appear. Oh, beautiful. Look at that, Mitch. And you've got a sunrise as well. And here's another one. Now, again, if I pause it, if you look at that lightning flash, I hope the cursor's picking up. It just appeared. Other images appear further on, but that one stays there because it's a stacked image. Absolutely stunning. Now, you're going to say about um, that these lights aren't rotating uh, circumpolar. Well, as I said, there's nothing circumpolar about it. But look at that. If you were looking at an angle, say a 45 degree angle instead of straight ahead or straight behind, you're going to start seeing that curve. Look at those star trails, Mitch. As I said, it's nothing to do with the rotation of the Earth. It's the orbit of the ISS around the Earth. The ISS is not orbiting along the equator. If if it was orbiting along the equator, then those points of rotation would be above the North and South Pole. But it's not. It's orbiting at an angle. I don't know what the the angle is. Let's say it's orbiting at an angle of 20 degrees. So the point of rotation would be 20 degrees off of North and 20 degrees off of South. You've just assumed and Sleeping Warrior has just assumed that it's circumpolar. It's nothing to do with it. Mitchell from Australia, you have once again been Mitch made. And I've got a little something for Anthony Riley. I said, Tony, I'd have a little something for you. Let's have a look at this. Now, you're always having a go at me. And... Um, <laughs> you're having a go at me again, trying to get me on that thing uh, where you said I admitted that Mitch had proved that the radius of the Earth was wrong. Well, M- Tony, a long time ago, let's compare channels. A long time ago, I asked to debate you about something. And at that time, which was when I was around here, I had about 300 to 400 subscribers. And you're on just over 3,000. And what did you say to me, Tony? You said... Well, I won't give you the publicity. I won't debate you because I don't want you to have the publicity. Well, Tony, look at this now. And just as a clue to you, Tony, you're the blue line at the bottom. So you're there with 4.86k subscribers. I'm up there with 6.85. So I would happily debate you, Tony. Only um, I don't really, really don't want to give you the publicity. Well, guys, I hope 
you all enjoyed that. I hope I didn't cock up too badly because that is a live debunk and I just thought I've closed the wrong window, have I? Let's have a quick look. How does it feel, Mitch? You are wrong. So wrong. I see we're still getting buffering, guys. I hope it's not been too bad. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe and hit notify. And also don't forget my mage project. That's coming along nicely. So thanks for joining me. Stay sensible. And big thanks to my wonderful patrons. Massive thanks to all my patrons, including new patrons, Loretta Carroll, Flint, Steve Ireson, Tati Bogle, Watto, Elizabeth Sagan, and my latest patrons, Michael Burnham and Brian Ramsey. Thank you all so very much. Shut up and sit down.